How's it going? My name's John, and today we're taking a look at these, the Withgear Foldable Push-Up Grips. And that's right, I said foldable. That's what actually really initially got me intrigued in testing these out. And then I saw that they were claiming that they can hold 600 pounds. Uh, so today we're gonna test that and much more. So what you get when you buy these is two of these push-up grips in a little carrying package, just a little bit bigger than the size of a hydro flask. And when these guys are assembled, they're eight inches wide, eight inches tall, and 15 inches long, which is kind of interesting because most of the parallettes that I see in this category are 12 inches high and 24 inches long. But I'm assuming they had to make them a little bit smaller uh, because of the foldability. Another interesting thing about the company is that before they made these, they were making foldable camping chairs and canes. So that kind of makes sense, but it also worries me a little bit that they haven't had too much experience with making workout equipment. So on to my initial impressions. Uh, they're a little bit better than I expected, especially after I saw a few reviews on Amazon saying that people got these uh, already broken, that they're elastic string here was already cut. Mine is actually a little bit frayed on a few of these. It's kind of hard to see. I'll try and uh, get a close up for you guys to show you. But that's definitely something that I'm gonna be watching out for. Overall, I think they're actually designed pretty well, but I think the real test is gonna be to take these guys out and get a workout with them. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll report back to you guys in just a second. All right, strength testing time. And in this instruction booklet, it's saying that these should be able to support 660 pounds. They don't specify whether both of them together can hold 660, whatever. We're gonna see if they can hold like 250 because I think that's all the weight that I have here. All right, and we are back from the strength test and my little workout. Glad to see that these held up really well in the strength test. I don't know why, but I was a little bit surprised to see that they could handle that actual 300 pounds on one, 280, whatever it was. I expected them to be a little bit weaker, but I gotta say all around, I was a little bit underwhelmed while actually using them. They seemed really good when I unboxed them and first held them, but after using them, I noticed that they're not super, super stable. There's a little bit of a wobble with them, um, with the legs here, and they kind of shift forward and backwards just a little bit sometimes, but it's enough to throw you off if you're doing something like hand balancing. As well, something that I was a little bit concerned of was this grip being too thin. My forearms get really aggravated easily. I've had forearm splints uh, numerous times before and something that really flares it up is a small handle. I thought this would be thick enough when I measured it. It was about an inch and three eighths um, and I thought that would be enough but with this foam padding you end up squeezing down to that one inch pole and it's just not enough to hold on to. And it's the same exact problem I had with my first push-up grips that I bought, which are these guys. Um, and it looks like they are the same exact design, the foam grip on like a one inch piece of plastic in this case. So what I did to fix this was to put a fat grip on it, uh, which just makes uh, the handle really big and it's way, way, way more comfortable. But if you're doing that with these guys, you're like, $55 in at this point, that's pretty expensive and I don't know if I could recommend that unless you really, really need that portability. As well, I think there's a big concern to be had with the elastic um, 
cords that are running through here. You can see this one is uh, already really frayed and I've only been using this for a day. So I would think that this cord doesn't have too much time left on it. I don't know. I don't think I could justify the price uh, if that breaks. So overall, I would give these guys about 3.5 stars out of five. Um, they're pretty good. They've got a few flaws, mainly this elastic cord. When I looked at the Amazon reviews, I saw that this had happened for more than a few people. I think someone even said it happened twice. Um, and I can tell that they're already getting pretty scuffed up on the bottom here just from the one day that I've been using them. The black paint is coming off. So it's kind of what you'd expect from like an outdoor folding chair, which totally makes sense. But I don't know if I could suggest these to everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about these guys or if you want to pick some up for yourself, you know the links are down there. And if you hit the subscribe button, it really helps me out. Like button if you liked the video. Dislike if you didn't like it. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.